Blessings, part 5, follow God's plan. So we've seen that in order for some blessings to come into our lives, we have to be a lover of God's law. We also have to have character. And we also have to show some responsibility in our lives. Now for the icing on the cake. And that is following the plan of God. What exactly is God's plan? And the truth is that if we were to look at all the things which have happened in the past, in history, until now, all is leading up to a specific goal, which is where Jesus Christ becomes the ruler of all and reigns over everything which is revealed in Revelation. And if you were to look at the Bible, which is, I guess, the guidepost for all those who believe in Christ, it acts as a manual, it acts as an inspiration, it acts as a, a telling point for all those who want to follow Christ and do the right things and follow God's law. And it enables you to know when you are wrong, when you have done something which you should not do. It enables you to correct yourself. It enables you to live a life which is pleasing, not only to man, but to God himself. And when we follow these guidelines and these rules, if you may call them that, or when you try to live a life which is righteous in God's eyes, then you're going to see so many things happen around you that you could never imagine and that blessings start to flow even more abundantly into your life.